Hello, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to customize your desktop background. So first I'm going to go to settings. So either you can go through, click here and start, settings, and we go to personalization. And here's where you can change your background image. Um, another way you can do it, which is my personal favor, favorite, is right click anywhere in the desktop. Be sure you don't click it on top of the icons because it won't come out. And then go to personalize. And see, and you get there too. All right, so um, you have a couple, yeah, there's many options here. So as of uh, today, September 3rd, 2020, because you know how Windows are keep updating their system. So let's see, the first option here, when you click on background, is picture. And the picture is where you can, you have your option to select a picture, a single picture uh, of your choice and to be on your background. So for example, uh, this get this galaxy one here. And actually this the Okay, this is the one this is my this are like my my recent pictures are right here. So you can click and like I said click this one and let me minimize this. As you can see, you see the picture right there. Okay. Now if you don't want that picture and, and it's none of the recent ones. Now, sometimes you might have pictures down there that have come uh, with your computer, okay? Uh, it's not here anymore, but I remember when I first got my computer, it used to, I used to have the, the Windows um, 10 logo or Microsoft logos. All right, my other option here, I can click Browse, and that will open the, my folders so you can go to you know pictures which that's where we have it i personally recommend that any pictures that you uh, want to appear in your background to create a folder like i did here so if i double click here i can choose any of these single picture any of these pictures so i can uh, singly you know appear in my desktop so i click that one let me minimize this, and as you can see, I have the Colosseum here. All right, let's go back to settings. All right, now in addition to that, on the pictures, background pictures, I have the options to choose a fit. Center, which it will center the original side of the picture will center in the middle, but the stuff on the top. We have fill. So what does fill do? The fill will stretch or shrink the image so that it occupies the, the full screen. It, might, it will actually crop the image in one of both the right dimensions so that uh, no blank spaces are remaining. So for example, if I, as you can see, if I choose fill, there's really no change and that's because this picture was already um, Oh, not much of a change because the special original size itself was pretty much the same size of my screen. So if I chose another picture, let's try this one and choose fill. See this one, the original picture was not this size, it was smaller. Yeah. As you can see, it got stretched both top and side by side, top and bottom side by side. So if I chose of the next one, fit, what the fit will do, it will either reduce it or enlarge the picture exactly the width or the height of the display. Um, so it will either stretch it left or right or up and down. However, it will do that without a uh, how uh, without the 
without affecting the axis, you know, without affecting the the image itself. Uh, yeah, without uh, changing its axis, you know, uh, without changing its aspect ratio or cropping the image. So the image, if I have stretched it uh, like on top more, it will affect the the way the image originally was. So what's the other? So if I choose stretch, okay. now stretch, that will actually reduce or enlarge the image so it fits both dimensions. That means both top and bottom. It will distorting the it will distort the image if necessary. I mean, uh, stored. You know, well, if the image gets damaged, as you can see, you can tell it's already stretchy. You can see it's stretchy it will still do it okay then we have tile i will pretty much grab the 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 original image size which is the original image size about from here around this rectangle and it will uh repeat it the image and um, one up side by side and next to each one after the other you know side by side will repeat so that's tile go back here and then we have center which will like you've seen before which just centers the image in the center and there's the original side of the image it will center it will place it right in the center of the of your screen okay And then we have span. Okay. Now the span works almost like the fill to display the single image across multiple uh, uh, screw monitors. Uh, so on the on the single monitor like mine, you will only see it like a, like a like a um, fill. So in other words, if I had another monitor. Like uh, like half of this picture will be, or the missing parts of this picture will be on the other monitor. It will pretty much fill both monitors. So one half will be on this um, monitor, and the other half will be on the other monitor. All right. All right. So going back to the background options here, where we did the option of picture, they have also the option of solid color. <clears throat> as default and mine is black and just might be some other color as default all right so as you can see it changed everything to the black color black if i um let's see, oops sorry if i change to a different color like go i will just change everything to go And you can also have your customized color also. For example, you can have it use dark teal here. See? I wonder if I already had dark that looks oh similar. Okay. And let's go back to oh, it's just for now. Here. Okay. So that's for solid color. Now going back to uh background we're going to go ahead and go to slideshow if you click there the way it works slideshow, okay and um, it gives you the option to select a folder down here so i will go to browse and the way it works it will do a slideshow of your uh, whatever pictures you have in folder that's why i like to have a um, a designated picture folder for the yeah, picture folder so for example i click here and i say choose this folder and every other picture inside that folder i will run one after the other so right this moment we have that one and here at the bottom you have your options of how um how how uh how uh, what's it at what time intervals do you want them to change? 
you can either have it one minute, 10 minutes. And you can also tell that every time you change the, your options here, as you can see, the picture changes. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. What is that? I didn't notice that, to be honest. Or maybe because I had it in one minute from the beginning, at the beginning. Okay, and I'll just keep it one minute. Um, and then here we have the option of shuffle. That means that it will randomly uh, select uh, the picture inside your fold that folder. If you click it, um, turn it off, it go by it will go by the other or how how you have your picture in that folder. So, for example, let me go back to the original folder because you guys will know I'm gonna go to I have my son pictures background. Here it goes. Okay. So when I take turn off the uh, the shuffle, it will start from the big from the first one, this one, and you know, and so on. Now, if you want to change the order of how your picture is in your folder, you just go to View, Details, and you can either have an order of names, dates, types. Okay. So right now, I have an order of of the, the order of the name. So we'll just go to the order of the name when I turn off the shuffle. Um, so if you want the particular picture to come after another picture and you have your shuffle turned off, just to, just be sure that you have your, um, what do you call your, the names correspond one after the other. Also, there's the option, if you put up an order of dates, there it goes the picture order will also change. Okay. I just skip the order of the name. Give it some time here. There you go. Okay. And just personal preference. I like a large icon. Because I think it's just it's large enough and small enough for me to notice what, what pictures they are and I can uh, tell what they are. The medium is too small to tell. Alright. All right, um, so let me minimize that. Going back to the settings section here of the background or the personalization uh, section of the uh, for the background. And um, let's see, I'm gonna leave this on just because I like it like that. And then we have let's slideshow run even if I'm on battery power. This means that. If your computer is un unplugged, it will still run it. Uh, if you want to turn it on. So, and that now, they said, the reason they ask you that, that's a good question, is because if you're low on power on your battery and you don't have a plug with you, you don't want your computer to waste the extra um, electricity power or battery power uh, running the slideshow. And so, so I'll just turn it off. And then we have choose a fit. Again, like um, like before with the picture, you can have your um, your picture to be fill. That means it'll stretch or shrink, uh, so it'll occupy the full screen. Uh, copying the image in one or both dimensions so that no blank space remain the size. So it filled up the whole thing. So originally this picture, is, this picture was not this large. Okay, and let's see. We have fit. It will fit as much uh, without you know messing up the picture itself, the image itself. And um, you probably notice the orange on the sides. That's because um, when you put fit, you have your option of the colors. I personally, it's a little dark, so let's see. See, that's bad, not too much. Now, of course, it's my personal preference. Yeah, black, yeah. Like that, I will see the picture how it is uh, 
let's see and then actually just for the purpose of showing you guys let's keep it orange so you guys can see the difference between the picture and the you know in the background or the the original side of the picture okay then we have stretch like before i'll stretch the picture left right up and down and it will not matter if it needs to uh, you know it'll mess up the what do you call it when it, it doesn't matter it will still even ah excuse me if it's gonna mess up the the image um itself it's they'll do it anyway okay let me see let's go back up here um style again like the previous here this is the picture original size so we'll tile it up repeat one after the other center i'll center the picture in the center that's the original size okay that's another picture so just remember i have mine on uh, at this point i have in in slideshow mode okay and then we have span let me minimize this okay. and span works like the like the, remember the span is the, the work um, the span is that when if you have two monitors it'll stretch on both monitors you see half in one monitor and the other half of the push on the other monitor okay so if you have two mono, multiple monitors so if you have three or or oh, stretch all three of them. All right. So let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it. Yes. So I'm just gonna leave our side show this part. Fit, and that's the original. I feel that's best it can fit. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it uh, please comment below and uh, like subscribe because the more subscribing and like i have uh, the more videos i can make okay so please do that thank you bye